Yannick Sinner versus Carlos Alcaraz is a second semi-final for the Men's Miami Open for 2023. And both players have been super impressive to get to the semi-finals. Yannick Sinner started the tournament off as a number 10 seed. And we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Gera. This was no problem for Sinner. Getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he take on the 21 seed, Dimitrov. But again, this was no problem for Sinner. Getting through easily in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, he take on the number 6 seed, Rublev. We had had interesting matches against in the past, but Sinner was on fire and destroyed Rublev 6-2, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinal stage. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on the unseeded Rusevori, who had a very good tournament to get to this stage. But this was no problem for Sinner. Getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. Alcaraz started the tournament off as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Bagnus, and as expected, he won in straight sets, 6-love, six 6-2. Six in the third round, he'd take on Lajovic, a man he'd already played two times in the last couple of months. But again, like those two other times, Alcaraz would win in straight sets. 6-love, seven, 7-6. Six. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 16 seed, Paul, who had beaten Alcaraz in Canada last year after saving match points. But this time, Alcaraz would get his revenge, winning 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, and getting to the quarterfinals of Miami. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number 9 seed, Fritz, who had just come off beating up Runa in the fourth round. But unfortunately for Fritz, Alcaraz was on another level, getting through in straights, 6-4, six, 6-2, six, to advance to the semifinals. These two have played five times before, with Alcaraz leading the head to 3-2, including their last two matches on hard courts, and they actually played this time last week at Indian Wells with Alcaraz getting the straight sets win. Having a look at the insights from Tennis Insights, the Miami Open averages show that in attack, Alcaraz is actually winning 25% of the points compared to Sinner, who's winning 22% of his points in attack. But the conversion goes to Sinner by 1%, that's 74% to 73% of Alcaraz. The steal percentages are absolutely identical, both at 37%. And in the baseline rallies, during the Miami Open, Sinner is 1% ahead of the baseline battles at 59%, with Alcaraz is a 50 58%. So very closely contested for both. And both being attacking baseliners, it's going to be a very interesting matchup. The margins are going to be thin. These tennis insights are a new way of explaining how things are played out in a match. In attack shows the percentage of shots played in attack. Conversion score calculates the percentage of points won when the player has been in attack. Steal score calculates how often a player has won the point when they've been in defensive during the point. And baseline battles calculates the percentage of points won for both players when they're at the baseline. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by tennis insights if you want to check out more you can go check them out on twitter link down in the description this is going to be a very fun matchup because last week we saw them play at indian wells and it was alcaraz who got that win i think sin has been very underrated on the hard courts against alcaraz and he's been very close to winning unfortunately hasn't gone his way but i reckon this is the time he loves playing here he's made the final here before and i think he's going to make the final again taking out alcaraz but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one